Good morning and welcome. My name is Daniel Rupert and I'm the CEO of Sedania Innovator. I would like to introduce you to Sedania and show you what we do in our two core businesses, how we do it and what benefits it brings to all stakeholders now and going forward. So let's start off with who we are. We are an investment company which is focusing on projects and businesses that enable companies and consumers to reduce their carbon footprint. In other words, we bring together funding, expertise and products to help others to achieve sustainability. We listed on Bursa's ACE market in 2015 and today have a market cap of about 153 million with an average trading volume of about 8 million shares per month. Our last annual revenue was 49 million with a profit margin of 17%. We are an ESG company, a Sharia compliant stock counter, a ST registered ESCO company, as well as a SEDA registered solar PV investor. Our mission tagline is to innovate and improve life sustainably. So we put our heads together and we thought, what is the best way for us to make a positive impact on our environment? We are technology crazy and we have access to capital markets. So how can these two skills make a difference to the massive carbon emissions caused by companies and consumers? Let me show you. For companies, we have chosen to tackle energy because energy with 35% is the largest carbon emission contributor. For consumers, we wanted to address waste which is the third largest contributor to carbon emissions. Healthcare products in particular, such as diapers, wipes, and other preventive healthcare items are being used multiple times a day, making them the second largest contributor to waste in Malaysia and the third largest contributor to our CO2 emissions. Therefore, as a second core business, we acquired Offspring, an Australian brand with a mission to make eco-friendly products popular and available worldwide. Sedania was not always what we are today. I joined Sedania in 2018 and it was a different animal then. So let me go back in time a bit. The company started back in 2004 as a group of technology centric innovators who created a completely new business segment for the telco industry, a so called value added services or VAS, which create additional revenue streams on top of mobile connectivity. With Cellcom as a first client, this business took off like a rocket and bought the company to list on Bursa. We were technology driven then. We invented and pursued exciting new technologies, but we did not always find clients for it. Our passion was strong, but our focus too wide. We needed a conscious mission. So in 2018, we changed our image and started to pivot the company towards a single goal, enabling sustainability to reduce carbon emissions and stop climate change. We changed our operating company from i.tv to Sedania Technologies. We created a new revenue segment called Green Tech. We invested in Maybank's transformation to energy efficiency, and we convinced TM to upgrade their data centers. And today we call our segment Sustainable Energy. Our sustainable healthcare business, Offspring, joined our journey in 2020 via acquisition. Within a year, we ramped up its export market from eight to 23 countries and transformed it to an online first sales company. Now we are able to address climate change for companies and consumers. We are organized in three operating companies. Sedania Technologies is executing our sustainable energy projects and investments. Offspring is our sustainable healthcare segment. And Sedania Salam is our Islamic FinTech subsidiary. In terms of profit contributions, our two core businesses provide 90% of our group profits. Uh, which is why I will focus our presentation today on those two businesses. But we also invest in companies where we see strong strategic opportunities. Currently, we hold two investments, one in eSports, a Singapore-based catalyst in the metaverse with an ecosystem for users to earn and spend their cryptocurrencies, and two in Vast Meridian, which is a Sabah state joint venture company for expanding the data backbone infrastructure in Sabah. Anything a company does is only as good as its people. So please allow me to tell you who we are as people, starting with our board. We are privileged to have a strong diversified board of directors. Sitting in front is our chairman, Tansri Abdul Halim. Tansrim doesn't need much introduction. He was former KSN in 1996 to 2001. He was chairman of EPF, MDEC, Cycle and Carriage, Malakoff, and MBSB Bank. Our founder, visionary spearhead, and majority shareholder is managing director Tatuk Eswin, standing at the back right. He's a former pioneer at Astro who brought in global media franchises to Malaysian TVs, including Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and the English Premier League. He is best-selling book author and a true entrepreneur with intuitive sense for upcoming new user behavior. He is supported by our executive director, Datuk Noor Shafiros, standing in the back left side. 
He's an Ernst & Young consultant where he accumulated over 13 years experience in financial audit, accounting and business management. Our non-executive director, starting from the left, Daduk Said Iswan is the financial advisor, investor, where he spearheaded the sale of a minority stake to KKR for over 600 million. In the middle, Puan Noliza, a senior communication specialist and the Malaysian managing director of FDI Consulting, one of the largest US-based publicly listed consulting company. On the right side, Mr. Yong Bang Hong, a true-blooded digital entrepreneur, founder of Pulsify, early investor of Ringit Plus, Control Shift, 500 startups, and many more. Running the daily show in our management team, we have our CTO, Mr. Razam, a robotics engineer. He was at, Mo at Motorola, a protege based in the US, co-founder of Pride, which he later sold to Facebook. Juan Kairal is managing our fintech subsidiary, Sedania Asalam Capital. She was head of digital loyalty, A Asia, and marketing head of Indian fintech leader, Bank Bazaar. Mr. Roslan in the middle is our CEO of Offspring. He's a 30 year ex Nestle veteran and supply chain and retail operations expert. Mr. Rizalden on the right is our CFO. He has been with Sedania since 2007. He's Australian educated, certified chartered accountant with over 20 years of financial experience in listed companies and a fellow of CPA Australia. Myself, I'm from Germany. I'm with Sedania since 2018. I'm an ex banker in London with focus on merchant acquisitions in the technology segment. These are some of our awards that we have collected over the years. Not only do they validate our technical and innovative spirit, but they also make our technology teams proud of their achievements. Let me now dive a bit deeper into our first core business, the energy segment. Sedania Sustainable Energy is a B2B business. It's project-based and has a long-term oriented business model. So what do we do? In short, we transform our clients' operations to sustainable energy, okay? So what does that mean? Our clients are companies. Companies operate through offices, factories, and warehouses. In short, every company has buildings which require electricity. In the beginning, this electricity is coming 100% from TNB, which means it's fossil fuel based energy. We call it brown energy because the energy is generated through coal or gas plants, which create a huge amount of CO2 into the atmosphere. That's what we want to change on behalf of our clients. So in step one, we make our clients more energy efficient, which means we retrofit the buildings with new high energy efficient equipment. It's similar to you buying a new car, which is more fuel efficient and therefore saves you money on petrol. That step already lowers our client's energy consumption by typically 25%. In step two, we install renewable energy systems such as rooftop solar. This again lowers our, brain, our client's brown energy consumption by another 20 to 40%. And for the last remaining brown energy, we consult the client on purchase of renewable energy certificates or RECs which ensures that the remaining electricity which the company receives is generated by renewable energy sources, for example, a solar farm or a hydro plant. So with these steps, we can make our clients 100% energy sustainable. How do we do it? We offer these three steps our, to our clients free of charge, no cost, no capex whatsoever, which means we are investing in our client's transformation to become energy sustainable. Under our umbrella, we fund the building retrofit, do the project management and the procurement of the technologies at our cost, which means, which then creates an energy saving of 25 to 35%, of which Sedania gets 70 to 80% each month for the next seven to 10 years. In other words, our investment is recouped through the client's future cost savings. This innovative business model makes the decision-making process for our clients easier, as it is a clear win for the client, a win for Zidania, and of course, a win for the environment. Now, you probably want to know how this translates into profit margins for Zidania. From an accounting point of view, our clients are actually leasing our system. And that's why you find a lot of lease receivables on our balance sheet. But I don't want to go further into accountant as I probably will lose half of you in at the revenue and the profit margin on the right side. The chart shows a typical energy performance contract worth 10 million ringgit. As you can see, the majority of revenue is recognized as equipment lease revenue in the first year upon completion of a building. The remaining contract value is spread throughout the contract period. The overall profit margin is 30 to 40%, whereby the margin is lower, around 10%, in the first year, but higher in the subsequent years, around 50%. Our project IRR is usually 15 to 20%. So let me show you some of our projects. Uh, you will notice that our projects are typically with GLCs, MNCs, or large cap companies. 
That is simply because of the size and credit rating. Keep in mind, we invest in recoup over up to 10 years. So we have to make sure our clients are still able to pay us in 10 years. So for TM, we have retrofitted 10 data centers with an energy saving rate of 25%. That is equal to about 30 million of energy cost saving for the client over the next 10 years. We also got awarded an additional 24 sites for energy efficiency and renewable energy, which we are starting right now. Maybank, we have retrofitted over 350 bank branches with an energy saving rate of 70%. That also has uh, given about 30 million in energy cost saving for the client over the last eight years. Post Malaysia, we are re now retrofitting 10 branches. We are targeting to achieve a rate of 20%, and that would be equal to about 2 million over seven years. Also upcoming for Post Malaysia is uh, some solar PV installation on their rooftops, totaling to about one and a half megawatt. For MBank, we have retrofitted two HQ buildings in Klang Valley with an energy saving rate about 30%, which is about equal to 1 million of energy cost saving per year. For Safeguard, we have retrofitted about four processing centers, achieved an energy saving rate of 26%, which is about equal to four and a half million energy cost saving over seven years. And for Botonas, we are just starting a study for sustainable energy uh, potential in their dam operation, uh, which includes uh, micro hydro turbines up to 130 kilowatt capacity. In total, our achievements to date are as follows. We have retrofitted over 370 buildings and achieved an energy saving rate about over 70 gigawatt of hours. Sorry, over 70 gigawatt hours, which is equivalent to about uh, over or close to 60,000 tons of CO2. And to give an idea of how much that is, that is about equivalent to planting 1 million trees. Our average energy saving rate to date is 20%. And our efforts are being noticed. Uh, we are proud to recently win the Best Sustainable Energy Solution Award. And we got dressed up again after two years. Okay, so this was our sustainable energy segment in a nutshell. Let me now dive into our other core business, what we call sustainable healthcare. What does that mean? I'm referring to our subsidiary Offspring. Offspring is a premium, organic, and eco-friendly baby brand available in 23 countries. This brand is highly disruptive to the $70 billion mass-oriented baby and toddler market. Why? Again, sustainability. Today's parents added a new layer to their demands for baby products. It has to be safe for my child, and it has to be safe for the environment. Offspring is a mass prestige brand that disrupts the traditional consumer behavior by focusing on eco-friendly ingredients, and biodegradable material. Ironically, the impact babies have on their own future is humongous. Let me give you an example. On average, parents change their baby diapers about six times per day, 365 days per year, and usually until they are three years old. And we have an annual birth rate of about 500,000 babies per year in Malaysia. So you take this times that, you end up with about 3.3 billion baby wipes going into waste each year. And most of these baby wipes decompose over 100 years. Our baby wipes biodegrade in 28 days. It's gone. No rubbish. So today we have sold 13 million of our baby wipes worldwide. This is how we can make an impact. And this is what offspring customers want. But they also want validation. And that's why we have almost every possible certification to show how eco-friendly, organic, safe, and sustainable offspring products are. Ranging from the EcoCert to the Australian Allergy Safe, to the FSC certificate, to animal safe and non-toxic. Our customers won't remember each certificate, but they will, they will feel good about using Offspring and they like to share their experience with their peers. Let me talk about, about our customers. Because our Offspring customers are smart and connected, our customers recommend good products instantly. They discuss the products with their parent groups. They shop online for the convenience. They demand eco-friendly and sustainable products. They care about baby safety and comfort, of course. And they research a lot the internet to be well informed. And because our customers do most of the marketing for us, Offspring has become the fastest growing premium organic and eco-friendly baby brand. We now have over 150 SKUs available in 23 countries, from the US to Europe to Southeast Asia, and now also in Africa. A truly loving brand that always creates excitement and joy. It makes us even patient enough to queue for hundreds of meters at our exhibition. Maybe best I show you. The next slide uh, will show you two videos for about a minute. The top one shows one of our TV ads from the US, and the bottom one shows a trade exhibition where you will see how long people queue at our offspring booth. I hope your streaming quality will allow a smooth playback. The more days that pass by, the more active your baby becomes. 
which is why our diapers are the perfect buddy on your baby's adventures. Comfortable and snug elastic waistband for wild days outside and ultra breathable and cottony soft layers for sleepy days inside. Our stylish and safe designs fit your growing baby and offer long lasting protection for their delicate skin. Naturally gentle, super absorbent and leak free diapers because at Offspring, little things matter. So now let me show you some numbers. Since our acquisition, we have expanded Offspring to an additional 17 countries, putting our total export market today to 23 countries. With regards to revenue since 2018, Offspring has doubled in size every year and continue to show strong growth. We expect this trend to continue or accelerate. 76% of our revenue is currently from Malaysia. 69% is online sales and the remaining 31% is from over 300 premium stores across Malaysia. Our key online sales channels include Amazon in the US, Wildberries in Russia, and Shopee, Lazada, GrabMart in Southeast Asia. On a quarterly basis, we are looking at the slightly seasonal market with only Q4 typically being slightly set back. Our growth plan going forward includes market entries in China and the Middle East, which have a total birth rate of over 15 billion babies per year and therefore a market size of over 600 million. This brings us to the end of our business introduction and I would like now to hand over to my CFO, Mr. Rizalzin, to show you our group's financial performance. Thank you, Daniel. Hello and good morning, everyone. I'll be taking you through the financial highlights of the company, starting with the content profits and loss statement. We recorded a steady revenue growth in 2021, total group revenue of 49.1 million, an increase of 65% compared to the previous year. Uh, this has resulted in an increased profitability across all our reporting segments. After tax was 10.3 million, an increase of more than 100% compared to 2020 due to the increased revenue contribution and better performances from our two core segments, uh, especially the sustainable healthcare and sustainable energy segment. Okay, as mentioned earlier, this slide shows contribution by segments in the most recent financial year. As you can see, contribution from sustainable healthcare and sustainable energy were the largest in financial year 2021 in terms of revenue and profit before tax. You should note that our revenue streams are supported from various business models. We have transactional base from our telco tech and fintech, retail base from the sustainable healthcare, and long-term service contract from the sustainable energy. In terms of balance sheet, our strong financial position as at 31st December was evidenced from a 51.9 million in total asset. Our total liabilities was 10.9 million, of which 5.1 million was from term loans and trade finance facilities. Our Total equity increased to 41 million as compared to 18 million in 2020. So with the healthy balance sheet cash position, sorry, balance sheet position, our current ratio was 5.1 times and we have a low gear ratio of 0.1 times. Our debt to asset ratio, a measure to see how our asset are financed through debt was low at 0.2 times. In terms of liquidity and capital resources, our cash cash equivalent and short-term deposit with total to 13.3 million in 2021, along with the cash generated from operating activities, existing credit facility, and continued access to debt market will be sufficient to satisfy our projected cash requirement, pay our debt commitment, support our day-to-day -day operation, and finance our capital expenditure over the next 12 months and beyond. So overall, 2021 has been a successful year for Sedania, with the increase in revenue, net income, and positive cash flow. The stability of our business, our ability to adapt and take advantage of the changing consumer behaviors, including those during the COVID-19 period, and our pursuit for organic growth were on full display in 2021. So I just shared with you our financial results, which were all in the past. Now I shall pass to Dr. Firas our executive director, who will talk to you about what's in store for Sedana in the future and our corporate growth strategy. Over to you, Dr. Kiris. Uh, thank you, Zain. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for taking time off your weekend to join us today. 
uh, before I end the presentation on behalf of my team, I am tasked to make sure that all of you uh, leave this webinar with a clear measure of our future growth metrics. So number one, for sustainable health, it should be highlighted again that despite the pandemic, we managed to break into over 23 countries. It is now time to grow the business value of each of those countries and as a result, we will have a higher overall international sales growth. Just imagine, what if in the next two years, we can just grow each of these countries to an average of just one million US dollar sales. So collectively, that's $23 million just from our international sales alone. Huge growth potential and very achievable maybe in a short couple of years. One. Two. Apart from increasing our international sales, we are proud to have over 150 SKUs of product lineups. Uh, we are always researching what else we can offer because we have such strong trust from our customers. We need to increase the targeted basket size per customer. Right now, our current estimated customer life cycle value annually sits at probably about $60 American dollars. So if we can introduce new SKUs that increases the annual CLV, by just $15, that potentially increases our sales by 25%. So those are the two simple metrics you can look at our future growth. Now for sustainable energy, our ventures are always tied to excess of funds. The bigger the access to funds, the bigger the projects we can undertake. So it's now an ideal time to double up and capitalize on our history, a proven track record uh, with our high profile clients and big and get bigger projects how uh, we are currently lowly leveraged right which meant all of our previous sustainable energy projects were internally funded we'll now be looking at that base funding to unlock these funds and then get even more funding to increase our appetite to take on even bigger sustainability projects apart from that we are an entrepreneur driven organization so we will not stay still we will continue to seek new opportunities by way of mergers and acquisitions because we need to stay relevant with the latest trends of the business world. We assure you our aspirations with our shareholders are aligned. Uh, most of us, all of us actually, are shareholders ourselves. We aspire to declare dividends and also explore main board transfers as soon as we possibly can. So, to sum up our presentation today, why should you become our shareholder? The company is well positioned in the high growth business segments. Sustainable energy and sustainable healthcare are both in industries valued in the mid to high teen PE multiples. We are lowly leveraged with liquid funds and therefore are prepared, are prepared to scale up and take up bigger business opportunities. We are still beginning both sustainable energy and sustainable healthcare have a lot of room for growth ahead. Uh, apart from growth, I do consider this holistic view as well, please. As a sophisticated investor, when you become our shareholder, you should be proud that we are not only targeting to deliver profits to you. In today's world, we have to widen our scope of responsibilities and strive to include the interests of all stakeholders. Uh, hands together, let's take pride in delivering value in a one cost saving to our clients. So it becomes a great partnership approach. Number two, to give back to nature by reducing carbon emissions, becoming a more responsible communities. Three, giving a greater sense of purpose beyond just work to our staff. And number four, of course, still generate profitable returns for you and with you as our shareholders. While we are ourselves an ESG driven company, we strive to enable others to also become ESG compliant. And therefore together we accelerate Malaysia's aspiration to carbon net zero. Uh, with this, I end our team's presentation and thank you